Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Even though you'll watch this the day after Thanksgiving, but taking the dogs for a walk. We're gonna be heading over to our son Sean's for Thanksgiving. This is gonna be really cool. It's like free food. Although we are bringing pumpkin pie. What else are we bringing? Quinoa loaf. Quinoa loaf. I don't even know what that is. Seriously, would you hire a plumbing company that didn't have a phone number? some location scouting today for an upcoming commercial that I'm directing next week. Gotta go check out kind of a garage, this place, a friend of mine uh, that has a really cool garage. And then after that, I'm gonna go up and uh, I've heard a rumor about an old classic fire engine that I wanna show you guys. This is my good buddy Tom. Uh, we are we are in Tom's garage because not only do you have cool cars, a lot of cool cars, uh, but we're going to be. I'm scouting for this commercial that we're going to be shooting next week, and Tom has graciously volunteered his garage. And it's okay if we um, if we come in here with a crew of 400 and, and 400. Uh, <laughs> How about three? <laughs> three? Three sounds a lot better. It's, not, it's awesome. So uh, Tom has been in the music industry for. A long time. Long time. Yeah. Worked life with, pretty much. Worked with the greats. Worked with some really cool people. Give me a couple couple of examples. Well, the first guy I worked with was John Lennon. And the second guy I worked with was Bruce Springsteen. So pretty awesome. Kind of was blessed right from the yeah, beginning. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yes we are. Yes we are. So uh, we're gonna come back next week and we're gonna shoot this commercial. This is for Hub Filters. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk cars and we're gonna bring you guys along with us. All right. Right on. So we'll only be a few people here, but we'll, the rest of the crew will be. Tim, right there. the garage is yours, whatever you need. <laughs> and by the way, this is one of the only guys I would let into my... <laughs> We're in a top secret location, so don't bother coming over. <laughs> okay, back in the car, got to head up to uh, the Nature Trust, where this fire truck is. Isn't Tom an awesome guy? Amazing guy. Um, been in the music industry for a very long time lives in a spectacular place. This is Ramirez Canyon up in Malibu. Um, gonna do some fun stuff next week. Can't wait. Nature Preserve? Well, we're actually at the old Malibu Riding and Tennis Club, which was acquired by a nonprofit uh, land trust that I started to preserve the forgotten areas of Malibu. Oh, that's awesome. Threatened with development. That's so great. this was originally slated for 216 condominiums, <laughs> and we got in the you middle of it. You saved it. Yeah. Wow. This is Peter Ireland. He, um, he has an amazing fire truck that's right behind us. And it's, uh, it came originally from New Jersey? Yes. And it's a 1949? 49 Dodge, five window, very rare, uh, only 35,000 miles. Wow, 35,000 original miles. Original, yeah. that's, that's incredible. Very often these small little townships yeah. uh, have fire departments, some of them are volunteer, some are professional, but they just keep and that Parades. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one mile long down yeah. Main Street. But uh, they don't have a lot of fires, so yeah. they don't see a lot of use, and they're always in these completely weather-controlled buildings that just manages to maintain yeah. them. And after 20, 30 years, they'll put them up on uh, eBay and get rid of them. And boom, it ends up here. Yeah, well, we have an incredible uh, 
large swimming pool? Should I get a pool pump and throw a hose in it? Or should I get a fire engine that can actually move around the property and put out spot fires yeah. after something Yeah, comes that's through. really smart. That's so, the, the cost of the truck was cheaper than buying the pool pump. The truck was about $1,300. <laughs> Shipping it out here was $2,500. But a good pool pump was in that range, yeah, you know, yeah. so I decided, hey, I love the fire engine. It's got this great old wind-up awesome. siren yeah. that starts out really slow. It takes several seconds for it to start to build up, yep. and when you uh, release the chain, it just unwinds. Oh, it's that's a so great cool. sound. Very cool. getting the full tour of this place. It's an amazing property up here in Malibu that I have, after living here as long as I have, I had no idea this was even here, and it's enormous. Uh, we are on the property owned by the Nature Trust of the Santa Monica Mountains, which I started as a land trust in 1998 to preserve threatened areas in western Malibu. We were able to preserve the 280 acres and transfer 180 uh, or 160 to Leo Carrillo State Park. Uh, the views are absolutely spectacular up here. What an amazing tour, an incredible place. I had no idea it was even there. Big thanks to Peter for showing me around. Uh, went up some hairy little roads, you know, little dirt roads to get to the very top, but the views were absolutely spectacular. Okay, I'm heading back to the pad. Got a few other things to uh, tend to, and uh, later on we're gonna chow down. Tentacle costume update. Get ready, because it's cool. Cow, cow, cow. That's the ray gun. Nice. Looks good. All right. Tentacle. So the tentacle. One sucker at a time. I need to climb in. You're going to hand me the glue gun and I'm going to pull the tabs through. Then we'll do each one one at a time. Kathy is now on the inside of the costume gluing the tabs for the suckers. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thanksgiving on PCH, just coming out of Malibu, and there's an accident. So we're going extremely slow. It's good that we left early. I know. See, you can thank me for that. I, I thank you. So we're going to Sean's, Sean and Isla's for, for Thanksgiving. Yeah, Sean's we're, making dinner. We're going to eat enough to last for a couple of days, and uh, that's if we can get through this uh, traffic here, which yeah, it looks I like. Yeah, can see it right there. Yeah, some cops up ahead. We'll show you. Check this out. Ooh. Okay, so that's not a fun way to spend uh, Thanksgiving. No, but at least no one's hurt. No, they got hit in the back. Yeah. No. But it certainly puts a damper on your, your eating capacity. Totally. You know. Well, first of all, you don't have a car to get to where you were going. Yeah. That car was up on a trailer. And you know, most people, they, they don't eat on Thanksgiving morning because they want to be really hungry. So, And if someone did something illegal, they might go to jail and then they'd be starving too. Oh, man. Suck. Sucks Do you think they would uh, serve you turkey in jail or vacant turkey? They, they would. They would serve you. It would look like turkey, but I, I can't really tell you what it, what it is. It could be fried rat <laughs> or just bread and water. Um, yeah, that's it, what I had. But it'd be turkey flavored bread because it's probably bread that you know that turkey's been sitting know. on. Sean and Isla's apartment in Culver City. Super cool place. Really cool. But Sean is making dinner. Let's go and check out 
what he's doing. What are you making? I'm oh, making stuffing. Making stuffing? Yeah, yeah. Everything is vegan? Yeah, right here in the stuffing. Okay. Yeah. This is Isla, and um, these guys are getting married in June. Very exciting. Very exciting. But we're doing Thanksgiving now as pretty much everyone else is on the entire planet. It's part of the planet. What do we have? We're having just general overall Thanksgiving food. All right. Are you excited about your wedding? Yes. And, and where's the cabin so that everyone Napa. will know? Okay. Happening in Napa. Okay. So if you if you if you want to come to a wedding. Uh, come to Napa. We're not going to take It's not in this. Napa. It's in Palm Springs. It's, it's Napa, Oklahoma. It's in Palm Springs next <laughs> September. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, when should I put my pie stuff in? I, I think I want one. I know. We can put one in the bedroom. It's not a bad idea. Okay.